is up everybody i've made it down here to south chickamauga creek i'm gonna bring y'all a very special video today y'all might recognize this spot from actually my second youtube video i came ultralight fishing here while waiting and uh, i plan on doing the same thing today we're just gonna do a few things a little different okay now y'all might have noticed that the everyday angler doesn't really use a lot of lures and stuff like that i'm always throwing worms out throwing bait for catfish but i don't think i've landed a fish on a lure on this challenge so today and i know i've said this before but i'm kind of in the middle of nowhere right now so even if i decide to change my mind i can't go get worms right i've picked out a couple lures from walmart you know and i'm gonna do a lure slam i'm gonna try to catch at least one fish with each lure that i've brought so you know kind of forcing myself to do a little something different for the channel instead of just tying on worms all the time anyways let me show you those lures right now these are a little bit of the lures so first thing i'm gonna all right this is a little pink it almost looks like a fly you know for panfish so this is our uh, one of our lures we're going to be using today and then i've bought something that's very similar to it but this one is just kind of silvery and white i'm hoping it kind of imitates a minnow you know so this is another lure we're going to be using today Come, something definitely out of my comfort zone is this tiny little crankbait i also like prefer the colors that show natural bait you know so i don't really like the chartreuse and red and all that i like the silver and the white i think this is going to catch us some fish today and i've got this is and I've got this assortment of inline spinners, okay? They, now these, I couldn't really find natural colors. So, uh, I don't know. I think these will still catch fish for us. And then I've got these little tiny jig heads that I plan on uh, putting these gulp soft plastics. I've got cricket grubs and minnow imitations. Of course, we got the ultralight set up. I've actually gone and bought myself a little fanny pack, so it'll be easier to carry around in this creek. And the newest addition to the everyday angler equipment, this nice little GoPro Hero session. So we're gonna get some juicy underwater release shots, guys. Hopefully, you know. So yeah, guys. Anyways, uh, let me get set up. This is the first spot I plan on fishing right down here. Now, the, this creek is usually not this. Uh, how do I say aggressive? I mean, it's it's pretty safe, but we've got enough couple of inches of rain here lately, so it's definitely higher. So the water is definitely a little higher, and we've got this beautiful, you know, white water going on here. Um, I've got all day today, so we're gonna go up this creek and let's see what happens, y'all. Everyday angler is fishing with lures today. Boom. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be throwing out is this little cricket imitation. And I've got this set up on a bobber and that little jig head I showed y'all. I figured uh, I'd try to start with the easy stuff first, you know. All right, I'm giving up on this little cricket. It has not given me any bites, even when I, when I know that there are fish here. So I'm going to try out the power bait minnow. I'll tie on one of these little guys. Fish on. Yeah, they like that power bait. Oh, it's a good size bluegill. Woo! Look at the size of this freaking bluegill. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they must have not liked that cricket at all. There you go. Everyday angler catching them. 
on the artificial bait, y'all. The size of this one, this is a beautiful fish. I wish I was down there so I could give you an underwater release, but we'll throw them out. All right, so there's one lure down. That was actually really fun, so I'm gonna try chucking this out again. There's another one. <laughs> oh, we found the bait that works. And the funniest thing, guys, I've been casting over here with that cricket for like 15 minutes and not even a bite. And the first cast on with these little fake minnows. And these fish are on it. All right, our next lure is gonna be this little inline rooster tail, y'all. Inline spinner rooster tail, okay? I picked out the yellow and brown. I don't know, maybe they'll think it's like a little night crawler or something. The action looks pretty good on this thing. Let's see what it does. So I actually just lost my last rooster tail, which seems to happen a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to go up a little more creek. Hopefully we can start catching some more fish, guys. This lure challenge is going exactly as I expected. Oh, it looks like a snake has shed a skin down there. That's pretty cool. I know there's snakes. I haven't seen one today though. I'm gonna try to get some cool footage of that thing. All right, I'm gonna be throwing this tiny little crankbait. I'm pretty excited about it. Action's really good. Well, I just lost that little crankbait. Um, what can I say, y'all? I am not having, the only thing I've caught something on are those little gulp minnows so i'm gonna tie one of those on again i know this is supposed to be here it goes again right every day angler saying he's gonna fish with hey i mean this is artificial i mean it's the closest thing to real you can get but i need to catch some fish for y'all so all right i've tied on this little gulp minnow again if i start catching fish on this guys i'm just gonna stick with it honestly I always fish a, or I always catch a variety of sunfish when I fish this area. I'm not having any luck and I've already gotten a few bites on this, so. Yeah, we already got a fish on. Yeah, these are the baits with the you. Oh my gosh, there's a little bass. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's a rock bass. Oh yeah, nice little chunky rock bass. Second species of the day. Right on the power bait or the gulp minnow, yo. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stick to this. Look at this beautiful fish. Nice, good sized rock bass, and it, it just goes to prove. I mean. Uh, I'm gonna start buying these honestly. These are doing better than night crawlers right now. Um, I was throwing spinners, that little crankbait, everything out there and nothing, not even a little nibble. And as soon as I throw what they want out there, these little tiny minnows, they're biting them. Beautiful fish, let me get them unhooked and let me try to give you a pretty neat release shot of them.
And these guys are the star of the show today. Gope outfishes all other bait. This is true so far. They're one inch, two centimeter minnows with a little tiny jig head and my bobber. But you know, I really wanted to be able to do like a slam and catch at least one fish on each lure guys, but you can't ignore when these fish are just hitting these goat minnows like this, you know? And hey, gulp just got themselves a loyal customer. I mean, this looks just like a little minnow too, cheaper. And they, you know, they're gonna last you even if you, you can catch multiple fish on them. Okay, I think I got this one on. Oh, it's another little rock bass. Beautiful little rock bass. I'll release him. Oh, we got a flipper. Did I lose him? Oh man, there's rock bass out here like crazy. Little over one, they're getting smaller and smaller, guys. Oh yeah, we got a fish on here. Bigger rock bass, bigger rock bass right here. Woo! Yo, this is a PB rock bass. Oh! My goodness! Yeah! Uh. That's a beautiful rock bass, man. Switching to the goat minnows. And they're doing work. Let me get you a cool release on this guy. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day, guys. Look, you can see my reel here. I've been snagged so many times that I'm almost out of line, so. Yeah, I'm going to get back on the bank and we'll give you a good outro. What can I say, everybody? The everyday angler was just not meant to fish with lures. Um, these were definitely the start of the show today. Uh, some people might not even consider these lures because if you read the back of them, they have scent. And, you know, they look just like minnows. Uh, you're pretty much using minnows. And that's why we caught such nice rock bass and that massive bluegill, which was the first catch of the day. Um, I've been trying to bring you all some different species and stuff, and I thought lures would do it. But to be honest, it's just not my thing. I know that if I would have gone down there with what I usually bring, some worms and some live bait, we could have gotten on some better fish, guys. So this is just kind of a little announcement to say, I know you guys enjoy my videos, so I'm not going to try to do anything different or anything like that. It's just not me using lures, you know, that's why you don't really see me doing a lot of bass fishing and stuff like that. Uh, I'll go bass fishing, but with live bait. But yeah, guys, uh, thanks for the supporting the channel. I know there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way as me, that prefer natural fishing rather than fishing with lures. And for those of y'all that don't know, natural fishing just means using bait. Whether it's worms, minnows, you know, you always see me catch a bluegill and cut it up to catch catfish. That's what natural bait fishing, other than, you know, the more popular bass fishing and all that stuff um but thank you for supporting the channel everybody don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for another episode of the everyday angler